Welcome to another fine Keystone RC tech build. Today I'm going to be assembling a Speedwagon slide-in truck camper. These campers come as a kit and they are uh, made out of a thin lightweight plywood and they're really cool if you want to give your truck that custom hunting buggy or redneck ride kind of a thing. I'm going to assemble this one and kind of show you step by step how to do that in this video. Some of the tools that you're going to need. You are going to need some wood glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue just because that's what I happen to have uh, laying around already. You're going to want to have some clamps. Probably not necessary. Uh, but Speedwagon definitely recommends them to hold everything together as you're doing the build. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of lay out all the parts. I've got the laptop here with his directions. And so I'm going to try to lay the parts out in a way that uh, I can find them easily. And I'm going to follow the instructions that I have here on the computer. This is a window panel that will be used last so I'm going to go ahead and set that off to the side. This is a side panel for the left side. This is the back panel. These two U-shaped pieces are roof braces. We have a whole bunch of miscellaneous square pieces. It will be important to kind of see which ones go where when the time comes because they're a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. So that's why we have to have the directions and lay these out. These are our roof vent pieces. This is a table that goes on the inside, just a little added extra detail. These are black roof vents and sewer caps for that little bit of extra detail. The right side, here's our right side piece. I'm just going to lay it over here with the other one. And then this big piece is our roof. So that's going to be our last part that gets put on. So you're going to want to have some uh, sandpaper handy to clean up the rough edges on this. Because it is wood, there's some burrs from when it came out of the mill. It'll just help make everything glue together better if you sand it off first. Our bottom piece, this is the back, this is the front. This piece is going to get glued onto here. Note that it goes, might be hard to see a little bit here, but it's going to sit down in front, not on not on top, in front, like this. I'm going to use masking tape because it will come off and not damage anything. Okay tape lined up on there and I'm just going to put a real thin bit of glue. Shouldn't take very much. It's thin pieces of plywood and this glue is pretty good. Make sure you're lined up precisely because you don't want to have to do that again. Our uh, our Gorilla Glue says 20 to 30 minutes for that to dry. I think I'd really like to clamp that just to make sure we have a good fit. It's already holding pretty good, but still. Can you tell I'm not used to working with wood? I'm a little awkward with this stuff. I'm going to hang here for a second. Alright, I got 
that piece clamped, I'm going to set it out of the way. So you're going to have two pieces like this, side A and side B, they're for the back part of the tailgate. As you saw in the picture, they're going to hang, they hang down below the actual floor of your trailer. Clean them up again. You're going to put glue, you're going to take your bottom, that's the longer of the two, see there. This is your bottom piece, it's a little bit longer. Your glue is going to go in a semicircle around there, and these pieces are going to attach on essentially making a box out of it. So I'm just going to put a line of glue right down on these edges. Pieces will attach thusly. Oops. Need a bead of glue down this edge where this piece is going to go on. Okay. I had lost the other piece here when I opened the package, and so I took the door out, cut off a piece off of the bottom of it, and it's almost the perfect size. To match up to this, I'm just going to sand it down a little bit and we're all set. box is going to be our rear step. Eventually the back of our camper is going to sit on it like so. So you're going to glue the edge for our side panel here. Oops. <laughs> this again. taping all my joints together so that they hold. Well, you get to see me make a mistake. I put it together upside down on that front piece. So now I get to fix it. That's why I'm making the video, because the directions could use a little help. The pieces aren't really labeled here, so it's hard to tell exactly what goes where. Alright, I'm a little better prepared this time. I'm going to tape this panel. Get the tape ready on it. Then we'll glue it. Then, when we put this panel on, I will let 
the tape and gravity do what the clamps are supposed to? We have two pieces. These two pieces are pretty similar. One's a little bigger, and according to his directions, it says either of them can be used. This one, the bigger one, can be trimmed for a perfect fit. And the shorter one will have a gap. So I think I shall go for the perfect fit method. In order for this next part to work, you have to take your piece that's going to go here and your, this big piece here that you're going to use and you got to bevel the edge using your sandpaper because you need them to fit tight together so that your top window piece will be able to go up on there like it's supposed to. So I'm going to sand that down real quick to the proper angle. Somebody with better woodworking skills than me would probably know a better way to do it. I'm just eyeballing it. Works for me. Okay, so I've sanded off my beveled edges. All the way around I've got my tape on here to make my life easier and now I'm going to glue all the edges and assemble this piece fits in here line up all your edges you want all your corners straight top and the bottom to hold that all in place. This edge. piece with the top bunk area window also has holes in it for LEDs and it would appear as though those LED holes go up when you put this piece in. It's like building a redneck dollhouse. dry on these pieces of it. Okay, the next step is our back door piece <clears throat> and it's kind of rounded out right here so you have to make that square so that it will line up and fit properly. It's going to fit down in between this box that we already made. So we've got to cut that out square. I'm going to use a hobby knife for that. I'm going to use a hobby knife to cut this out square here.
and so it's starting to look like a camper. Then there's these two braces. They just go inside of here for structural integrity. Basically, they keep the whole thing And so there you have it. It's all glued together, taped. The lid is removable. I'm probably going to use Velcro to hold my lid on. I don't want it to be permanent because I want to be able to get into it. I'm going to be putting detail in it. You do your own detail, add the windows, add a bed up here. The table can get glued in. You can add the lights to it and that kind of thing. Everybody's is unique. That's the fun of this hobby. I'm going to paint mine in a plain white and then try to dirty it so that it kind of looks like an old weathered. I want it to look like some crappy bought it off Craigslist for $500 camper uh, deal. And I'm probably, I'm hoping to someday build a trailer. I want to build a redneck toy hauler that this goes on. Uh, that would tow behind my Tundra and carry the Class 3 on it. But um, for now, that's how you assemble it. The details are up to you. Go ahead and pick one up off of Speedwagon's website. They're a lot of fun to build and a lot of fun to detail, and they give you just that little bit extra fun when you do a trail run to have a camper or something on your truck. So i say go for it. It was pretty easy to build. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my documentaries and my other tech builds.